humanity as a whole is an example of a quality species. I mean, that is in the fact that you do not see abherent monsters walking the streets, the babies that just came out wrong. Surely this must have happened a few times, if not many times, throughout the 20th century. See what had happened to these people. Most believe they don't exist. A few believe they have all died off. But there are rumors that are still few that are living. Deep in the wilderness of the world, surviving to this day, they may hold resentment against us, the peers. I believe the Slender Man and the Rake, among others, to be examples of these creatures. They don't loot our bodies. They don't rob us. They don't attempt to make peace with society. Have you ever wondered if... They've had a different goal, perhaps revenge. In my journeys, I have encountered stories similar to these from around the world, and a few things are present in most of these myths. One, the creature seems somewhat humanoid, with or without extra appendages, disfigurement, etc., etc. Number two, they often seem to hunt their victims, observing them for months, even years before the kill. And three, they do not strike the general population. They attack single targets, or those associated with them. I, myself, have come to the conclusion that these beings are sophisticated. They don't just charge into a police station and wipe out a whole town. That would drop reporters, investigators, possibly the police or the, and or the military into the situation. Their victims' lack of preparation is what dooms them. I leave you with these theories, and I hope that you may never have to run into one of these abominations.